Planet 9, Planet X, Nibiru shock. Entire solar system is affected by Planet X, Planet 9, whatever you want to call it. This is according to astronomers. Now they call it Planet 9 so that they would not call it Planet X or Nibiru or Nemesis or Wormwood. So they called it Planet X. We already know that NASA has come out to explain that even the Sun has tilted six degrees right recently. Now this is by Sebastian Ketley of Express UK. This mysterious Planet 9's gravitational pull could have a bizarre effect on the entire solar system if proven to exist. Astronomer has spectacularly claimed Planet 9 is a theoretical large body on the fringes of our solar system just past Pluto, the Kuiper Belt and beyond the gaze of Earth's telescopes. Although Planet 9 is yet to be directly observed, evidence of its existence is mounting. Astronomer Michael Brown of the University of Southern California believes the mystery planet is 20 times farther away than Neptune, but is similar in size to the frozen planet. This astronomer also is certain scientists will soon hone in on the planet's nine location, and when they do, the planet's gravitational effects on the rest of the solar system will be revealed. Now, there are many people that enjoy sky watching and taking images of what uh, they find around them. They also uh, meticulously examine live webcams of uh, areas, for example, like Mexico, Spain, Portugal, Europe, Alaska, and other areas, and they do notice that there is something in the sky that should not be there. A planet with moons, a planet uh, next to the uh, sun, another sun, various celestial bodies that should not be there. In the meantime, NASA once in a while comes out saying that we have more than one moon circulating uh, orbiting our, our Earth. What does that mean? We always thought we had one moon. And now lately they're saying, well, we have more than one moon. We may have two or more moons. But anyway, they're always coming up with something new. Now, speaking to Linda Moulton Howe on Coast to Coast AM radio, the astronomer said, in the inner part of our solar system, inner being the parts we know of, planet nine has no effect whatsoever on the inner planets, and you can figure out why. It's actually seven times the mass of Earth, and it's 500 times further away from the Sun than Earth is. Jupiter, on the other hand, is 300 times the mass of the Earth, and it's only five times farther from the Sun than the Earth is. So Jupiter has a tremendous effect on the planets in our solar system, and nobody sits around and is worried that Jupiter is suddenly going to come to destroy us Planet 9 is really far away and quite a bit smaller than Jupiter, and its effect is really minimal, they say. The one effect that it does have is that over 4 billion years, it's capable of slowly tilting the orbits of the planets, but even that is a very, very minor effect. The astronomer then said there is a possibility the mystery planet will be confirmed as early as get right now. Now, Dr. Brown, fellow researcher Constantine Batigan, originally presented their Planet 9 hypothesis in a nine-page paper titled Observational Constraints on the Orbit and Location of Planet 9 in the Outer Solar System. As we, they had explained, they called it Planet 9, so they wouldn't call it Planet X, uh, or Nibiru, or Nemesis, or whatever else. Now, the astronomers have since focused the crux of their research on locating this mysterious elusive planet. The U.S. space agency NASA caught onto the research in 2017 saying, quote, it is now harder to imagine our solar system without a planet nine than with one, end quote. What does that mean? Anyway, Dr. Brown said, I'm always, always very optimistic. Constantine Batigan, my partner in all this, is much more pessimistic and so you should take my optimism with a grain of salt and take his pessimism with a grain of salt. He thinks it will take us another 10 years. I think it will take one year, he says. So maybe that means still another three years, but I'm still very optimistic, he said. 
Earlier in the month, Professor Batikin said Planet 9 is a super Earth-like planet between 5 to 10 times the size of our planet. The astrophysicist at the California Institute of Technology said, quote, at five Earth masses, Planet 9 is likely to be very reminiscent of a typical extrasolar super Earth, end quote. Astronomers also believe Planet 9 is the reason why objects of the Kuiper Belt, a region of asteroids past Pluto, tend to group together. NASA explains astronomers studying the Kuiper Belt have noticed some of the dwarf planets and other small icy objects tend to follow orbits that cluster together. By analyzing these orbits, the Caltech team predicted the possibility that a large previously undiscovered planet may be hiding far be beyond Pluto. They estimate the gravity of this potential planet might explain the unusual orbits of those Kuiper objects. Astronomers, including Batigan and Brown, will begin using the world's most powerful telescope to search for the object in its predicted orbit. Uh, okay, so they also predict its orbit. Wonderful. And uh, they'll be using uh, the world's most powerful telescopes to search for it. Okay, I'm sure they'll find it. Now, hopefully they'll be able to tell us what a lot of people view in the skies uh, close to the sun. I mean, they can see it with the, just just by taking their camera, their, uh, just a uh, a basic camera image. Now any object that far away from the Sun will be very faint and hard to detect they say but astronomers calculate that it should be possible to see it using existing telescopes. Now is Planet 9 in our solar system? This Planet 9 discovery and what is Planet 9? Well, it could be a captured rogue planet. Tom Fish of Express UK reports, Planet 9, Aka Planet X, has perplexed astronomers since it was first proposed in 2014. Now, what exactly is Planet X or Planet 9 in our solar system? Is it in our solar system? Sorry, that was a Freudian slip. I'm reading the article for you. Scientific convention states there are eight planets in the solar system, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. On August 24, 2016, Pluto ceased to be recognized as the ninth planet following a change in definition. But debate has reignited over Planet Nine for a mysterious celestial body posited to be out there could claim the title for itself. Puzzling planet could be hiding out in the distant edge of our solar system and astronomers have just published new information about its appearance and whether it actually exists. Planet 9 could have 5 to 10 times the mass of Earth and Planet 9 or Planet X or Nibiru or Nemesis, whatever you want to call it, or even Wormwood, could be barreling along an elongated orbit peaking at 400 AU. Now, is Planet 9 in our solar system? This Planet 9 discovery, and what is Planet 9? Well, it could be a captured rogue planet. Tom Fish of Express UK reports, Planet 9, Aka Planet X, has perplexed astronomers since it was first proposed in 2014. Now, what exactly is Planet X or Planet 9 in our solar system? Is it in our solar system? Sorry, that was a Freudian slip. I'm reading the article for you. Scientific convention states there are eight planets in the solar system. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. On August 24, 2016, Pluto ceased to be recognized as the ninth planet following a change in definition. But debate has reignited over Planet Nine for a mysterious celestial body positive to be out there could claim the title for itself. Puzzling planet could be hiding out in the distant edge of our solar system and astronomers have just published new information about its appearance and whether it actually exists. Planet 9 could have 5 to 10 times the mass of Earth and Planet 9 or Planet X or Nibiru or Nemesis, whatever you want to call it, or even Wormwood, 
could be barreling along an elongated orbit peaking at 400 AU. An astronomical unit AU is the average distance from the Earth to the Sun, which is approximately 93 million miles or 150 million kilometers. This orbit is also likely 15 to 25 degrees off the main orbital plane of our solar system where most planets orbit. Planet 9's or Planet X Nibiru Wormwood existence is an idea back in vogue among astronomers since it was first seriously proposed in 2014. And proponents believe that planet, the planet exists because of the patterns of the objects in the Kuiper belt, a ring of debris in the outer solar system. This base debris clumps together in ways suggesting gravity from something huge and significant is exerting a force on them to do so. And the evidence of Planet 9 or Planet X existence is beginning to build. A group of astrophysicists has calculated the probability of Planet 9 not existing at just 1 in 500. Not existing. Which means that Planet 9 probability of existing is 499 out of 500. Right? So it exists and they have to figure out where it is. And this new research indicates Planet 9 or Planet X discovery is significantly closer than we previously believed. The likeliest alternative explanation is of an incomplete conception of the Kuiper belt. And this is in conjunction with objects only appearing to cluster because of bias in efforts to detect them. And a further possibility is that the clustering results from the self-gravity of the Kuiper belt acting on its own objects and does not arise from something hidden in the planet's uh, tug. So we'll see. Uh, hopefully they'll find it. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.